Hi guys. Try to think which deck of cards I want to use, which I'm drawn to. This is a reading for just if you guys did to click on it. It's for Libra season, okay guys? Um, so we're in Libra season now and um, the first half of going into the first half of October. And as you can see, I'm ready for um, fall, autumn, whatever you call it. I love, um, you know, autumn, my favourite time of year. So I'm getting ready to be all cosy on the sofa. So <clears throat> let's see what messages um, we get or what confirmations you may need to hear um, from this video. You know, thank your angels, guides, the universe, the divine um, for all the messages you got so far. And, you know, practicing gratitude will bring more in, more of the good stuff in. So the first card, the four of cups. OK, so during Libra season, we may be seeing that it's about um, like us, we like togetherness and things like that. And you may be feeling quite lonely if you aren't receiving any offers. Um, it's just not your time yet to be with a certain person. Um, like I spoke of in my last video about friends, um, you know, quite a few people might be exiting your life and you could be feeling quite lonely, if not lonely, um, bored here, okay, discontentment with life, just feeling like, you know, I've been working on myself and maybe you're not seeing results yet or maybe you have been seeing results and they've kind of slowed down. Um, you know, so maybe you're waiting, you know, look, I'm ready to date now or I'm ready to make friends now and just not seeing them. So you could be feeling a little discontented, a little lonely here um, and feel, feeling like this offer's never going to come. You know, I'm never going to, um, you know, I'm doing OK because I have free cups standing here, but you are a little isolated here. There's nobody else in this uh, card with you. So, yeah, this is what I'm picking up, that you could be a little bored, a little fed up, lonely even, um, you know, working on yourself. Because it really does clear out things that are no longer necessary in your life, things that are no longer serving you here. So you could be feeling a little bit bored, lonely at this time, OK? And like I said, that's because... Libra season is about the we, so you are wanting some sort of company in your life here. Um, you know, it could have been a long time that you've been waiting for an offer or, you know, friendships. It doesn't have to be a love offer. It could be even a job offer. You know, if you've been waiting on a job offer, you aren't in work at the moment, or you could be bored with the current job that you're in and you're just like, you know, feeling fed up and like really looking at things closely with it being cups. Um, I feel like you could be, um, you know, feeling it really getting to your emotional side here. We have the five of wands and the seven of swords jump out. OK, so you could be fine during Libra season. Like I was saying, you know, people, friends, loved ones, romantic partners, you may be arguing um, quite a lot with them because the more you grow, the more you demand, um, you know, people to respect you. So you could find at this time, you know, there's disagreements with people in home life and work. Um, people trying to get one over on you here with the seven of swords um, and, you know, having disagreements about this because you're no longer being walked all over. Um, it could be in a conflict and you deceiving yourself, like just because of this boredom, you could be feeling, OK, well, I'm going to go talk to somebody who probably isn't worth your time. And then you find out very quickly, mm, no, I see why that isn't working or won't work, you know, so it's that inner conflict to, creeping up because, you know, this boredom, this loneliness, you may entertain people you wouldn't usually entertain. So, you know, this five of wands for you could be within you, like, should I, shouldn't I? 
And it's just because of this um, four of cups here, you know, um, being discontented with um, your emotions at the moment, you know, wanting that company because there's not really somebody worthy of your time yet there. You know, I almost tempted to accept somebody or, you know, a company that's below your worthiness, your standard here. Because it is sword, so it is about conversating, you know, you just maybe wanting somebody to talk to and this person isn't really worthy of you. They're not really working on themselves. So you could find yourself doing that and having that in a conflict or minor disagreements. Like I said, it could um, be you finding out people are lying to you and cutting them out of your life. So you become more and more isolated. It's going to be a very strong... Um, new moon so i definitely feel that things will be revealed and people will be asking you did you know if this person was lying and you just need to stay out of all that because it's gonna come to some sort of drama here you know if other people was accepting let me give you an example so let's just say your friends with somebody who was lying and deceiving somebody else and that person asked you was you in on this while they was talking crap about me did you know about this and i feel like you just need to stay out of it here okay just stay out of it leave it between them it, it'll be a small issue but if you whether you knew or not um that this person was lying it's not on you you just be like, you guys are friends, lovers, whatever. You guys sort it out between you. I don't know. Um, it's nothing to do with me because I feel like it could turn into something bigger that really has not to do with you. It's like they'll look for a scapegoat and they'll put it on you. So really and truly just stay out of it here, you know. Maybe a blessing that right now these people aren't really involved with you because the truth will come out with the seven of swords here it's upright so the truth will come out in that situation there nine of pentacles so you are on your own at the moment okay but you're doing so well okay you have this growth you may need a reminder that you know you're doing well well done you know um stick at it okay i know it can feel like a long time again number nine being the hermit so when we're in hermit mode we can feel a little bit lonely it can feel like you know i've been in hermit mode forever i've been alone forever um uh, so yeah it's just like some of you may be like i've been in her hermit mode five months and then there'll be others who'll be like, well, I've been in hermit mode seven years. So you may feel like, you know, your situation is abnormal or something here, but it's not OK. Um, the amount of time we spend in hermit mode is as unique as us as people. OK, so remember, you're doing great here. You're doing wonderful. This nine of pentacles, you know, um, things will start to pay off for you. I, there will be rewards here coming in. I feel like as soon as we're out of this um, Libra season, you will start, you know, this will drop away. This was the first card. So the first card is always the strongest. So during Le Libra season, I do feel like, you know, in September, you know, it kind of became tough on your emotions you kind of want more connection with people but look what these people are bringing really you know they're bringing some drama here so it you know sometimes you don't see it but being on your own here is kind of like divine protection here because you'll just get dragged into people's drama that you don't need and dragged back down here you know it's like it's always, always something and somebody like when they see you rising up and they see you getting better, 
they can be trying to drag you down again. So don't, you know, like I said, this could be a blessing in disguise that you're on your own at this time because there could be some people, you know, wanting to bring in that drama. So, you know, well done for the progress you guys are making, how far you've come. Um, remind yourself to look back at that and reflect and say, well, where was I a year ago? Where was I two years ago? You know, um, how far I've come from when I first began healing. So, yeah, really, I feel here you should look back and be proud of yourself. This Nine of Pentacles, like she's standing tall, she's standing proud, like, you know, you're really getting yourself together here. You're getting your life together. And as I send, said in that video about no friends, you really are, um, you know, not missing out on anything while getting your stuff together here, getting your money together, getting your life together, your emotions together. You're getting on track here. I mean, look at this. Pentacles are leading the way. It's the path that you'll be walking on here. So... While you're focusing on getting yourself together, be proud of yourself. None of this is um, anything you should be upset about. I feel like just if you start to feel a bit lonely, bored, just look back and see how far you've come. And remember, um, just this season, you know, we'll be out of it soon. Seven of Cups. Yeah, and it, it'll land on the Four of Cups and the Five of Wands. So... Again, I feel like it could be other people like trying to drag you into um, situations that don't really involve you. You could just be like, somebody could come to you trying to be all messy and be like, and you're like, what's going on here? I'm confused. I don't know what's going on. I don't know nothing about these lies that people are telling me, you know, just it's none of my business. I'm staying out of it. Um so that would be my advice to you guys just like it's none of your business stay out of it um with the four of cups and the seven of cups here again it's cups so i do feel like it's you know your emotions um being confused by boredom um so maybe you feel like okay i'm lonely or i'm left out i'm left on the shelf or something like that but i feel like it's just boredom creeping in okay because you've been working so hard you are in hermit mode so you know you do want to um get out there a bit don't let this boredom confuse you okay you could be having weird dreams as well here okay during this time and i feel like it's just your subconscious trying to sort out that inner conflict because it's on the five of wands um you know looking for answers while in hermit mode maybe you've got out of um hermit mode but you're still alone so you're no longer seeking these answers but if you do have this inner conflict you could be having um strange dreams and that's your subconscious looking for answer answers there so I would um, make a conscious effort to say, OK, what am I having this conflict about? Um, you know, and try and work in on that. Okay, Ace of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, and King of Wands. Okay, so you could be actively trying to work on get a love offer. Okay, so we see in the Four of Cups here, you know, we're waiting on that Ace of Cups offer. Here is the Ace of Cups offer. So you could be actively um, working on either making an offer or receiving an offer. And this is um, maybe why you're feeling lonely. You could be wanting love in your life, which is um, what everybody wants, really, whether it's love from family, friends, or um, a romantic partner. Um, definitely here, I see you working hard. You've, you're not sitting on your laurels here. You've, you're taking action to work very hard on yourself to perfect yourself here um you could be at this time feeling like well 
what do I need to change about myself? What's wrong with myself? You could even be working on um, how you look here. Um, so you could be actively working to lose weight, look better here with the nine of pentacles, um, eat better. You know, you could be actively working on, um, okay, I want to be a vegetarian now, or I want to be, um, you know, a certain size, you know, going to the gym here. Look at this guy. You could be working out here, trying to perfect yourself. It's working on yourself here, your own um, pentacle as well. You could be actively looking for work and feeling a bit fed up of maybe getting rejected from job offers here. And um, I feel like this offer that you're waiting for or you're working towards here is coming. It says that with the Four of Cups as well. Um, the offer is coming. You just don't see it yet. So because you can't see it, it's like this confusion. Okay, is this work that I'm doing even right? You know, what do I need? And I feel like you're just really looking inwards here because of the Nine of Pentacles. So this King of Wands is like motivation. So I feel like this sadness, loneliness, as we go through um, into October here, I feel like you'll start to feel more motivated. Okay, I'm not going to sit back and wait for Prince Charming or a princess to sweep me off my feet. I'm going to go out. I'm going to work on myself or I'm going to track down this job or I'm even going to create a job myself. Okay, I'm going to do start something creative and start working on that. Start working on my own creative um, endeavours here. It could be um, writing poetry, it could be drawing here, it could be actually making something that you want to go ahead and sell. It's just like really now getting this motivation because you've been waiting for this offer, now I need to go out and take action, I'm going to do it. I've been working on myself spiritually in hermit mode here, now I'm in the nine of pentacles mode, so it's kind of out of um, hermit mode, but it's still alone with the Four of Cups, okay? It's still um, by yourself. So I feel like here we see you maybe even taking action to work independently for yourself. Like, um, should I start this new business now? If an offer hasn't come, I'm going to make the offer myself, okay? So it's that sort of energy there um, where you start now getting this fire in your belly and you want to take action and I'm going to make sure I get this offer. In regards to love here, I definitely feel like somebody is coming to make you an offer here. I don't think you're actually aware of it. You seem to be just busily working alone. Like I said, you may have been alone for quite some time. So you're feeling like I'm minding my own business. And that's what you know I say up here. Just stick to yourself. Mind your own business here don't chase love, let it chase you. And if you're doing that, you know, with the eight of pentacles, then this offer is coming. I feel like you get through this September energy of, you know, getting in your emotions and about we and about us and maybe loneliness and boredom. And you just like, I'm done with that. You know, I felt it. Okay, good. I'm going to start working on myself. You could be, um, start working with somebody, um, at, you know, somebody new could start a job or you could start a new job here and you kind of start being romantic with each other, start, um, you have an attraction to each other, you find each other um, good looking here, very charming. Um, so you may start dating somebody um, at work or in a new job, either you start a new job or they start in the same workplace as you there and they start, you know, you two are attracted to each other. If you do work on something creatively or you're about to start your own creative endeavour, um, I feel like people are really going to like it here. They're going to respond well to you. So I feel like, you know, it gives you that extra oomph, that extra motivation to, you know, keep going and keep working and working hard here. Um, and I definitely feel like, you know, it pays off for you guys.
I feel like with the Ace of Cups, your emotions become more stable. Um, like, you know, um, if you're feeling lonely, you've got no people, I feel like you replace that with work and working hard and it pays off. Doesn't mean that, you know, that you have to forget about love completely. But here I feel like, you know, it sort of replaces that loneliness and that, um, I just seen that. Somebody's going to tell me. I seen a ghost. <laughs> it's not a ghost when it's on my right side. Okay, guys. Um, so, yeah, I feel like with, you're going to fill that void with work. Okay. Working hard. Which is good because then your pentacles pay off. Your pentacles start to look good here. Nine of pentacles, eight of pentacles. You know, um, you could already be doing this and trying to ignore your feelings here. So don't forget to work through your emotions as well. It's okay to um, feel like, okay, maybe I want somebody and, you know, deal with that, let it out. Don't just push it away down somewhere. You know, we have to let our feelings out here. What turned over? God. <laughs> Six of cups, okay. So here it shows that Maybe you do have a huge history with somebody. These cups are full to the brim with all different kinds of memories um, that you share with somebody. Happy memories, sad memories. And I feel like if that's the case, you're waiting on somebody to return. This is why you haven't had the offer for a long time or why you're rejecting offers with the four of cups because you're waiting on a so certain soulmate. Um, with this soulmate here, I do feel like there is still love in the connection between you both. I see them um, remembering things about you and, you know, really fondly now. I don't know if it's because of the time of year, but they are remembering things really fondly about your connection here. And there was um, love in this connection. It was a very strong soulmate connection. Look at these cups. They are full they are absolutely full here they may be wondering or thinking about and looking at why did i do this now and it's very complicated to go into each individual energy here um for an example like i can read one energy where um you're now single it's a leo who's thinking about you and wants to make you a love offer with these cards on a general reading. Another example is, um, you know, you waited for an offer. You didn't realize there was another option um, who they actually made the offer to instead of you. Um, here, um, somebody could be fighting um, to work it out with you, somebody from your past fighting to get you back and you're just not interested here because they lied and cheated. There's so many energies that, you know, I can read here. Um, I, some, somebody from your past could be, you know, telling you I'm still in love with you. Still absolutely completely in love with you with the Ace of Cups here. And the only reason I'll read that because some of you really want to know, okay? And that's okay. We're not you know, dogging on other people who are interested in their ex or not interested in their ex, each to their own. And if I see that in the comments, I will just block you. It's that simple. I, I'm not going to have you say bad things to other people. Not here. I'll just completely block you. I'm not interested. I'd rather have a few good people than masses of people just being nasty my soul family is about helping each other out and protecting each other. It's not about judging each other. So, yeah, there is a love offer coming that is going to be very unexpected to you. And like I said, it could be somebody you meet at work. The Six of Cups is showing you this is soulmate connection. And it may be like as we move into 
the more into October, so that with it being water, the more into Scorpio season, that, you know, you're now feeling better and you're feeling good with this Six of Cups energy. Sixes are about positive energy and learning to look at them in a positive light. Like, I've got this going for me, I've got that going for me, and just taking it on, you know, as we move into Scorpio season here, and then, boom, you could have been single, single, and then all of a sudden... You're in a relationship and you're falling in love. And you're like, where did this come from? I, I don't even, you know, a month ago, I was like sad. I was lonely. Where did this even come from? I didn't even know this person a month ago. So it can read like that as well, the energy. So let's see. So that would be the back end of Libra season. Okay, so Eight of Swords. So here I feel like as we go into the end of Libra season, so we're in October now, okay, when, uh, you know, this possible soulmate uh, comes in here, um, whether it's new or old, Six of Cups is a soulmate and a very strong one, somebody who has a lot to give, a lot to teach you. Um, the Eight of Swords, this is what I was just saying, you could start getting in your own head, and start self-sabotaging here. Oh, do I really want to get past that down that path again? Because you've forgotten all about the loneliness. So, you know, you've forgotten all about the boredom because you're now working hard and motivated and feeling good with the Nine of Pentacles here. You've forgotten about, okay, I was wanting somebody a bit ago. You're now in your head like, mm, will, it, will it interfere with my work? Will it interfere with my spiritual growth? Do I really want somebody in my life? And there's a soulmate here on offer. So do you really want to let this pass you by? You don't have to be up in your head like this. You know, we can allow situations to unfold naturally. You don't have to rush, you know. You don't even have to be slow if you don't want to, but... You know, don't get up in your head about it. This will just, if you allow the Eight of Swords to progress, you end up feeling anxiety. So Libra season, it can start off as like a bit of loneliness or a bit of boredom. But if you let it build up, it can creep up into anxiety, like really feeling stressed. So don't let this season get to you. Um, because I feel like the more it goes on, the more we sort of, you know, um, it's like having a tower moment. So if you are really focused on, oh my God, things are going wrong, you're going to see every little detail that goes wrong. But if you just free yourself and be like, you know, what will be, will be, um, it's going to, you're going to free yourself from the eight of swords and then you're fine. Because as well, I feel like with this eight of swords, it's like if you get involved with these people who are spreading lies, maybe even spreading hate about you, if you try and confront them you can end up feeling stuck in a situation because of that you can end up being dragged into it okay and then feeling like well now how do I get out of this so don't go into it in the first place you know prevention is always cheaper than the cure so I definitely feel like you know um, just things you don't really need to be in don't get into them due to boredom I mean I've done this myself so I you know like I'll, I'll give people time when I'm sort of like, if I'm like, oh, well, I'm kind of lonely. And, you know, maybe somebody from my past will try and talk to me and I'll give them a bit of time. And then I very quickly see, hmm, now I remember why you're in my past. So I'm not saying that people can't. I'm saying I've done it myself out of boredom. I'm just trying to relate to you guys and let you know that any path we take is correct because we'll learn something or we'll win a situation. And I'm all for the learning here, guys, okay? I'm all for the learning. So let's um, get some answers from my angels here. So if you want to ask a question, um, these cards are it. So you hold the question in your mind and I'll pull the card here. And hopefully you'll get your answer.
don't stop. That's why I said, don't stop. Don't give up. You know, it's not the time. It's just a season. It's just a little tiny chapter here, Libra season, that's got people up in their feelings. It's all this, like, there's so much watery energy here, and it's emotions. There you go. Choose a new direction. And we'll get one more for you guys. Meditation brings answers. Okay, so if you're feeling bored, lonely, or like I was saying about the dreams here, if you have this inner conflict and, you know, your subconscious is looking for answers, it could come up as like uh, dreams for you guys. So meditate. Look at what's really causing this conflict in you. Meditate on it. And it'll bring answers for you guys, okay? Good luck.